And you see, this is how dumb Joy Reid really is. That so-called invasion through the southern border, that is an economic issue. That's a major economic issue. That's such an economic issue that tens of millions of good-paying jobs will turn into basically minimum wage job because they will come in and they will do it for less. They will take your job from you and leave you homeless just to replace you, basically. In the words of AOC, diversity is our strength. Well, you're not going to feel very strong when you have your job taken by somebody who is willing to do that same job for half the pay and the corporations are going to be happy to pay that person half of what they pay you. So welcome back everybody. Super Tuesday happened. Donald Trump won. Nikki Haley dropped out. And the cope has begun. Joy Reid from MSNBC. She knows the real reason why Donald Trump won on Super Tuesday. Before we get into the video, I need to tell you a secret. I need you to hit the like and the subscribe button. I need to fight against the YouTube algorithm. Because I'm on the road to 1,000. I'm going to need all the help I can get. Let's get into it. Republican voters don't vote that way. They don't vote based on economics or based on the benefits they're getting economically from the president. They're increasingly, from the Tea Party on, they're voting on race. They're voting on this idea of an invasion of brown people over the border. The idea that they can't get whatever job they want. A black person got it, therefore drive all the blacks out of the colleges, get rid of DEI. That is what they're voting on. They're yeah. just voting specifically on racial animus. Which, At this stage, it isn't about economics. No. So you hear her say that since the Tea Party on... Nobody voted on economic, it's only about race. Literally, the entire Tea Party itself was based on nothing but economics. To say everybody's voting on race. If that was true, Joe Biden is white. Then she understand it's not about race, it's about values? How is any black Republican ever elected in the office? Did she ever ask herself that? Is she just trying to say that all these black Republicans are nothing but pick me's, Uncle Tom's. And then she tries to put out saying, oh, they're voting on the, the idea of the invasion happening over the border of brown people. No, it's not just brown people. It's the invasion over the border, period. Flat. It could be from anybody at any time, anywhere around the country, around the world. And we would feel the same exact way. It scares me that she's not worried about it. She's not worried about a massive invasion across our southern border happening from whatever country it may be from. And you see, this is how dumb Joy Reid really is. That so-called invasion through the southern border, that is an economic issue. That's a major economic issue. That's such an economic issue that tens of millions of good-paying jobs will turn into basically minimum wage job because they will come in and they will do it for less. They will take your job from you and leave you homeless just to replace you, basically. In the words of AOC, diversity is our strength. Well, you're not going to feel very strong when you have your job taken by somebody who is willing to do that same job for half the pay and the corporations are going to be happy to pay that person half of what they pay you. And then she says it's something about blacks, you know, uh, not getting the job, uh, uh, you know, getting the jobs where white people aren't. No, the problem is when the illegal aliens come in, you cut the line out just to hire illegal aliens where it's a, it should be an American's job. Whether it's black and American or a white American, it's irrelevant. It, it's the fact that you you cut the requirements down for uh, especially the government jobs. I mean, we just did a story. Uh, based out of New York, where they're, the, the governor's cutting the requirements for government jobs on the behalf of illegal aliens who, who don't belong here in the first place. Actual criminals. Doesn't she understand that the black vote itself is going to be washed away very soon? Very, very soon. So low IQ that she doesn't understand the black vote will be replaced very soon. The Democratic Party will no longer need the black vote. She, I don't think she understands that that her vote will no longer matter. So she goes off on another clip talking about the one job, you know, the small job of the pandemic that Donald Trump had. Let's see what she has to say about that, her opinion on this, you know, whatever nonsense she's spewing out of her mouth. Donald Trump had one job. He had one crisis. He's saying, oh, all of these things were perfect. You had one crisis, bruh. It was called the pandemic. 
And you know what you did? You bollocksed it completely. You did so poorly at managing your soul crisis. The one hard thing you do, the reason he doesn't look old like Biden looks older, <laughs> the presidency <laughs> ages you when you do the job. Obama went gray because he was doing the work. Donald Trump looks the same as when he ran because he was playing golf the whole time. <laughs> His one job you, you think was that to manage. Color's natural? <laughs> oh, that's it. But the reality is, he had one job: manage this crisis. And he he, he messed it up so badly that they had to do the stimmy. People love the stimmy. Why did they have to do the stimmy? Because a million bodies are in the ground. It was because Democrats. of how poorly he managed an yeah. airborne it was the virus. Plan so you hear that nonsense, right? Basically, she's saying that. He doesn't look older because, you know, you know, Joe Biden looks older and, and Barack Obama and all these other presidents because they did the job. But hadn't Joe Biden been on more vacation time than, than any other president in, in history? Isn't that true? I'm pretty sure that's true. <laughs> this whole idea of that uh, they age because they did the job, it's ridiculous. And then she tries to downplay it, saying the pandemic itself wasn't that bad, but his response was so bad that it made it worse. But they were the ones on, on television screaming day in and day out how terrible this was and how every anything that anybody ever did was wrong. You're not even allowed to talk about it. Even now, it still feels as maybe you might get shadow banned on social media, if, even if you talk about it. Even I feel kind of like leery to talk about, you know, what they were just talking about. So when she brings up the fact that he only had this one job of crisis, when we look back in history, you know, 40, 50, 100 years from now, they're going to look kindly on Donald Trump. Because I think the position we were in, historical, one of a kind, you know, thing that happened throughout our history, he handled it, you know, pretty well, considering that, Nobody has seen anything like this since or whenever the Spanish flu was. And, you know, it's people like, like Joy Reid and MSNBC that changes people's minds. Some of these voters, they were just riding on Nikki Haley's coattails because they were rhinos. They are now so upset that Nikki Haley lost that they can never find themselves vote for Donald Trump. They'd rather vote for Joe Biden in a worse economy the worst economy we've had in a long, long time, inflation through your ears, than to vote for Donald Trump and try to actually fix the problem. And then MSNBC went and found these voters who were going to vote for Nikki Haley, but now are going to vote for Joe Biden. Anything but Trump. <laughs> that was your priority. <laughs> That's my priority. Is that the biggest reason you supported Nikki Haley? Yeah, I'd say. Because of Donald Trump? Yes, yeah. I would vote for Joe Biden over Donald Trump in a heartbeat. Republican, right? I am. What do you do when that is in? If he is the nominee and it's he and, and Joe Biden, what do you do? I vote for Joe Biden. Hi, Nikki Haley. Um, I think Donald Trump um, is a threat to the well-being of our country. She drops out. Would you be disappointed if she endorsed Trump? She if does. Uh, I'll vote Democrat. No. That's all there is to it. It's important to me to keep Trump out of office again. Um, Project 2025, I've read it, I've studied it. It's scary, it's frightening. I've lived in a constitutional democracy all my life. I want to remain that way and I want my grandchildren to grow up in one, and, not a dictatorship. And I'm curious, over the last two elections, um, mm -hmm. have you voted Trump in the past? Was it something where you voted for him, you trusted him and you were disappointed? Yes, I voted for him in 2016. I am a registered Republican. And I, I regretted that vote almost immediately. I got to be honest. After watching these people, it, it kind of sickens me. The Republican Party should take these people off the voter rolls. They should change it from Republican to basically socialist. To, to Joe Biden, you know, sycophants. Because that's what they are. And do you notice that whatever these voters say... It almost sounds like MSNBC and Democratic talking points. It's a danger to the country. Insurrectionist, insurrectionist. I couldn't find the strength to actually vote for Donald Trump. I regret it. These are basically just MSNBC talking points. So don't believe this nonsense. This is just propaganda MSNBC is putting out there just to make you feel as if it's okay not to vote for Donald Trump. When these people are just setups, they're plants.
they're that one person wearing a Nikki Haley button that is willing to go on camera and say, I'm not voting for Donald Trump because he's a meanie. He's mean. He says mean things. I don't like him. MSNBC is is probably known for setting up fake voters that say that this is real and this is this is fake. This is probably some MSNBC trick to get people, you know, thinking, oh, maybe it's okay to vote for Joe Biden, even though I'm not a you know gigantic Donald Trump fan. That's what it seems. It seems like an MSNBC trick. Liberals do it all the time. They run their little polls and their little think tanks. Try to make it phony. And that's this almost seems like that this is what that is. So I don't know if any of these these little tricks are going to work. You know, come November, it's gonna be Joe Biden and Donald Trump, and I know RFK is in there too, but let's be honest, he ain't gonna do anything. So it's it's going to be Joe Biden and Donald Trump at the end. I guess we're gonna have to wait and see if anything comes of it. So I'm Simple Son. Hope you like, subscribe, share, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.